Okay, what's up guys? So what I'm going to do in this video is we're going to create a cool sci-fi kind of scene really easily. So what we can do is let's jump into it. First thing is you want to go to ChatGPT. So we're going to use ChatGPT. You're going to type in write a Python code to create 100 cubes in blender okay then hit that okay and you can see this code so now i go here copy boom new paste and you can see it doesn't work so don't worry about it we'll fix it so I go here and link go back to chat and just say it doesn't work go here copy code go back to blender now we try again. Let's see now. Okay, so that's not exactly what we want. So how do we fix it? All you do is go back to ChatGPT. It's all about trial and error. Okay, make them random. Okay, and then let's see what happens. Okay, copy code. Go back to Blender. Delete this and link new boom paste run. All right, now we're talking, baby. Okay, so we've got something going on, yeah. Now, what we want to do is find a spot, I think somewhere like this would look good. Yeah, something like this. And click on your camera, go control alt zero with your camera, make it a bit wider, bring your Y up. Okay, looking nice. Okay, so we're done with ChatGPT. Now what we're gonna do is create the scene. It's gonna be simple, basic. First thing, make sure you're in cycles. Cut your world, color, make it dark. Okay, and then now what you wanna do is go Shift A, Mesh, and go to Cube, S, scale it up. So it covers the whole scene. All right, then go to shading. Make sure that that cube is selected. Cube 100, what you can do is just rename it. So double click and just say volume, just so you don't get, you don't get confused. Then go new, click on principal BSDF, delete, shift A, volume, add a principal volume. Plug into the volume, 0 0.1. Okay, go back to that. Now I want to get a light. So, go to top view. Okay, go shift A, light, point light, G. Bring it away from the scene. So it must be outside the cube. And then go to X, G. Bring it up, go to wire mode. So we can just see. Okay, so the camera's facing this way. We actually want it on there, so G this way, G that way. Okay, then G, we want it behind the scene. Okay, now, go to camera, go here, then go here, and now, click on your point lights, and we need to bring this up to like, what you can do is change the color, so we get like a blue. Okay, and actually I'm gonna change the, the view. You have to sometimes play around with something that you like, but I like this, so go back to my camera, control alt zero, and then bring this in and bring the Y down, X in. Okay, let's bring this point light to about 5,000 mil and too bright. Okay, then what you can do is go back out of shading, make the density 0 0.2, just to make it a bit more darker. Okay, and then what you can also do is go Shift A, Mesh, Plane, S, scale it up to cover the whole scene. Go to X, G, 
can bring it up something like that come actually bring it a bit more down so select the plane g somewhere like that and then you can make this like a reflective material so go new bring the roughness down bring the transmission all the way up that just adds a little bit more interesting things to the scene okay and then go back to your camera let's find a nice spot again go y bring it down now you can find a spot that you like so you can see you can move around sometimes if you want something more moodier you can go somewhere like that or brighter and what you can do is also just throw in the model here so go yeah i've actually got a saved model so yeah then s scale him down something like that okay you can download one go to sketchfab complete up to you and if you want to import it you just go here so i've got it saved in my asset browser but if you don't you just go file import and then usually save it as a glb or gltf and then just click on it find it and it will import it okay then go yeah then what you can do is change the material on this guy so hit new go yeah to principal psdf make it a mission okay and then go to compositing hit new Use nodes, go to shift A, type in glare, plug this in here, and then hit fog glow, and go back to layout, and then you'll see if I render the image, you'll see it will kind of like glow. So let's just do this 300, 256, then go F12, and there we go. And you can see if you want, you just bring up. Obviously, it's not loading that much. You just bring up the emission. So click on here, make us five, and then go F12 again. And there we go. You can see that nice glow around the objects. And then, like I said, you can change the color. So you can change the point color. Go the lights. Boom. Make this any color you want. I kind of like the blue though. And then you can always click on the plane, go to shading if you want. And then go shift a type in bump plug the normal into the normal shift a type in noise texture plug the factor into the height make this like 100 bring the strings down bring this up bring this down and then go to layout and that kind of looks like water not perfect but you can see you can play around with the scene but yeah i actually prefer to with a no bump just like a reflective material change this cube if you want throw in a material so you could go if you've got real-time materials boom metal boom 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 but yeah, like I said, this is like a starting point. As you can see, uh, now yeah, you've got these nice rays coming through to create something just from simple blocks. So you can get creative with it. You can find a nice spot and maybe shoot something from the top. Something weird. Seriously, it's, it's, you can get creative, like I said. So I just wanted to show you this quick thing that you can do with ChatGPT and creating these blocks, creating a scene, building something. I'm sure you guys can make something much better than this, but I just wanted to show you the basics and how to build on this. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.